Hello YouTube, this is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel, Doing It With Don. Today we're going to be building this 4 bolt compound clamp for the Grizzly G4000 metal lathe. The first thing I have to do is run over to Shapiro Metal and pick up some metal stock. I need to give a big shout out to my buddy Steve. Hey Steve, thank you so much for introducing me to this place. And then after I went there, I found out my dad used to frequent this place all the time. He knows the owners stand and they're good buddies. So now I'm just using the bandsaw to cut the steel. It's roughly four inches by four inches. Next, I'll be finding the center of the piece of steel and marking it with a punch for a drill. I found the plans for this modification on Steve Bader's website. Uh, he has some special modifications for the 9x12 mini lathe. And I'll put a link into the description of the video that shows you how to go right to the project plans. Here, I'm setting up the milling machine for a drilling operation. I'm going to be using a clamp down set to hold the steel in place while I'm doing the drilling. I'm going to use this V-Groove Crowder to set up the milling machine and zero in for the drilling operation. Next I'll be drilling a pilot hole. I'm using a 3 16 inch drill bit here. Now we'll move over to the 3 8 inch drill bit to drill the hole to the final diameter. Now we'll do a little bit of cleanup on this part and then we'll take it over to the lathe and mount it. We're going to be using a 3 8 inch bolt and we're going to put that in the chuck and then the bolt head will be tightened up on the back side of the jaws in the chuck. After we put the steel on the bolt and then put some washers in the nut, then we'll tighten the steel into the face of the chuck and the back of the bolt will be holding on the back side of the chuck. Here's a close up detail of the first dimensions we'll be cutting. You don't need to necessarily make a note because I will be leaving instructions to Steve Bader's website in the description. Now we'll go ahead and change the jaws out on the chuck. Coming up, I'll be showing you the dimensions of the inside cuts we'll be doing.
So using this carbide tip boring bar, we're going to cut this initial dimension to 2.01 inches. And now we'll be cutting out for the graduated dial and a little bit later in this video you'll see us fitting that into this groove. And now we have the basic outline. You'll see the two score marks on the steel. I'll be taking it over to the bandsaw and cutting this down. This is really starting to look pretty nice. Now we're going to be adding a window. This is so we can see the degree marks on the graduated dial. Now that the window's done, we have to drill the four holes in the top to secure the clamp plate down to the lathe. Let's clean up just a little bit first. Now we'll go ahead and test fit our parts and get our holes lined up. And when we have this all apart, we'll be cleaning it up as well. Here you can see the graduated dial. Now I'll be using the square and the vernier calipers to get my hole centers lined up perfectly. We're going to punch these holes and then we're going to head on over to the drill. And now it's time to put the clamp together. I'm using 3 quarter inch stainless steel bolts.
And as you can see here, these bolts won't quite fit in the T-slots. So I'm going to go ahead and use the grinder to thin out the head of the bolts. And now, we're going to put everything back together. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and see the four bolt clamp being made for the 9x12 mini lathe. If you like these videos, please thumbs up, subscribe, and like. Thanks for watching.